Hey, how's it going everyone? What is up and welcome back to the channel and another MK11 discussion video. Today we're going to be talking about the next DC character that could possibly be coming to MK11. With Combat Pack 2's reveal around the corner, I would say, I mean we're halfway through September and Ed Boone has said that, you know, an announcement is coming in September. A DC character is obviously coming in that Combat Pack. Seeing as, you know, Mortal Kombat, two Mortal Kombat characters came to both Fighter Packs for Injustice 2, and we've already gotten Joker in Combat Pack 1, I think they are doing the crossovers with each Combat slash Fighter Pack for each NRS fighting game that they release, trying to kind of tie the franchises in together. So that's what we're going to be talking about. I'm going to be speculating on the character that I think is coming, uh, my wish list for it, and not just my prediction. But before we get into that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications and also like the video. It helps out the channel more than you could ever know. And don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you want me to talk about. I love doing suggested videos, so make sure to leave them. But with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into this one. So this is kind of a sore subject. It's kind of like along the same lines of like guest characters in Mortal Kombat and Injustice right now. Uh, not a lot of people are really digging it, which I mean is fine to each their own. I'm not really, I don't have too much of a problem with it. I understand the people who don't want the characters in the game uh, because it takes away from the base characters. Like, you know, if we didn't get Hellboy or we didn't get Sub-Zero or Raiden in Injustice 2, we might have got Beast Boy or Raven or a couple different characters like that. And in Mortal Kombat, if we hadn't got Joker and Spawn and Terminator and Robocop, we could have got, you know, Ashra and Natara. I, I get the other argument, but at the same time, I feel like they're a necessary evil, even more so with the DC characters over the guest characters at this point. But I do think the DC characters do have the potential to be some of the coolest characters that ever come to Mortal Kombat. Uh, seeing as Joker is a really fun, well-designed character, and he really fits right in in Mortal Kombat, I think there's a lot of potential for other characters to fit that bill. Um, so we're going to be going through my wish list uh, for characters first, like characters that I would love to see as a guest character in Mortal Kombat, whether it's MK11 or whether it's uh, MK12 or 13. These are just some of the characters that I want to see, and I want to see actually in MK11, like one over the other, one under the other, you know, I, I just want to see these characters, and then we'll do my actual prediction near the end of the video. So I think the character that I want most in MK11 as a DC guest character is Red Hood. Red Hood is such a cool uh, DC character. He is, you know, of course, Jason Todd died as Robin. Thanks to Joker, I feel like that plays him well together with Joker being in the game. Uh, such a well-designed character back for revenge. He's the anti-hero. He is Batman who will put a fucking bullet in your head. Uh, he's just always been, like, probably along with The Flash, my favorite character in all of DC. You know, on top of every other single character. He's just always been so cool. And, uh, you know, he, he, he really doesn't feel like he fits the norm of being a hero or a villain. I just always enjoyed the character for that. He wasn't just, like, a, a Boy Scout or some guy who won't end some mass murder, you know, shit like that. So, Red Hood's always been, like, a number one character for me. I was really excited when he came to Injustice 2, and I, I actually mained him there for a long time. But he's a really cool choice to me. And that, that kind of leads us into Scarecrow. Scarecrow was probably one of the coolest design characters in Injustice 2. He had some of the, he had one of the coolest movesets. And he, hands down, had the coolest voice actor in uh, all of Injustice and Mortal Kombat, I believe, being uh, Robert England. I mean, Robert England played the original Freddy Krueger. And he's done so many other things since then. And he, that was just the coolest thing. And I feel like it would be cool, equally as cool as Red Hood, I believe, if we could get Scarecrow voiced by Robert England again in MK11 as a guest character. That would be absolutely dope to me. That would be really cool. But that kind of brings us into most of the time you have to go with villains when you want DC characters because, you know, they're not going to have Superman, whether it's the Injustice Superman or not, out here ripping people in half. You know what I'm saying? But uh, the next character I think that would be really cool would be Reverse Flash, Professor Zoom, Eobard Thawne. I think he would be a really cool character to have in, to have in Mortal Kombat to compete with Cabal. Uh, it would be a, a cool dynamic having him in the game, especially interacting with Joker. And if they do a Combat Pack 3, whoever they had uh, as the DC character in Combat Pack 3. But I think Reverse Flash would play really well into what Mortal Kombat is. And I think he could have some really cool, quippy, uh, smart-ass dialogue with most of the characters the same way Joker does. But in a more, um, in a, in a more smart 
way, I guess you would say, because he is a lot. He is a very smart uh, character, so I think he would be a very cool character to have too. But now we're kind of we're going to move into my actual prediction for the combat pack, and you know, as cool as the characters that I just listed are, the one that I think is most likely, thanks to the Suicide Squad movie coming out, the new Suicide Squad game coming out, her TV show that's coming out. Joker already being in the game, uh, and all the rumors going around about her, I, I definitely think it's going to be Harley Quinn, unfortunately. I mean, it's not really unfortunately, like, in a bad sense. I think Harley's going to be a cool character to have in the game, and she'll definitely have a cool moveset. She was definitely cool in Injustice 2. But uh, with all the other characters that I just listed, Red Hood, Scarecrow, and Reverse Flash, I think they could have a lot more potential than Harley. Uh, but I definitely think with everything that's happened, everything that's coming out for Suicide Squad and everything else, it's really going to be Harley or one of the other Suicide Squad members, but I do think Harley is the most popular, so she's the most likely to me. But that is my wish list and prediction for the DC character, uh, I think it's DC character Mortal Kombat for Combat Pack 2. Like I said, with Combat Pack 2's reveal right around the corner, I believe, I think it was, uh, it, it was about time that we did a... DC character prediction and wish list, and I think we still need to do a guest character uh, wish list and predictions. But that's gonna do it for this one. That's where the video ends for everybody who doesn't want to hear me plug my shit. If you don't want to hear me plug, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you watching the video, and I'll see y'all next time. But if you do want to hear me plug my shit, if you are interested in supporting the channel, here we go. If you guys would like to support the channel a little bit, in a little bit bigger of a way, you can go to the link in the description down below to the Patreon and support over there. You can either be a $5 big boy and get to see the videos early, or you can uh, support with $1 and you get the you get the bi-weekly podcast, which is about an hour long and it's just me. Uh, that's how you can support the channel a little bit better. Uh, you will be noticed in all of the videos if you do support over there. Also, if you do drink gamer energy drinks such as Juju Energy, we are a partner with Juju Energy. If you would like to support the channel in that way and help me build my relationship with my partner, you can use code TUTIN for 10% off of one of their seven amazing flavors or all seven. You know, it's up to you, bro. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. My name is TUTIN, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.